Hello everyone, Kitty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing a game that I found on Itch.io called Peter's House. Before we get started though, I did want to mention that I do have a Discord, and I always put the link to my Discord in the descriptions of my videos. So if you want updates on when I post, or just to chat with me, I have some uh, different little groups on there. I'm still learning with Discord and how to run it, um, so just... You know, remember that if it's buggy, if maybe some of the bots don't work, I will have to look and remember what bots I do have. It's been a minute since it's been created, but go check that out. Um, what else? I had something else I was going to say and now I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'll put it in another video, clearly. Maybe it wasn't that important. I don't know. But let's get started. You know me. I love a scary game. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help moving some boxes tonight. Peter looks very creepy. Like, look at that. I don't think I, I don't think I trust that face. Uh, it's a trap. <laughs> okay. Sure, we could definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. Wait. I have a... F yes. Yeah. I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. Okay, that confused me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can give, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Perfect. Great. I'll take care of everything. Is there anything you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Personally, I wouldn't trust movers to come into my house when I'm not home to move my stuff. I'm very anal about my stuff. Like, if it's something valuable, I'm the only one that touches it. Sorry, bye-bye. <laughs> That's just how I am. I'm weird. Alright, let's get started. Ooh. Okay, wait. I'm gonna change the sensitivity a little bit because I have a very small mouse pad and I cannot be moving a super ton. Alright. A uh, little more, little more, little more. We'll be crazy with it. Right there. That's, that's not a little, but yeah, there we go. My mouse pad's like here. We will show you. I have a baby mouse pad, okay? I need a bigger one. So I don't have a lot of space, so I usually use really high sensitivity to get stuff done. Okay. Left mouse. Okay. This one says that it must go to the baby's room. Uh, I guess I should have... I should probably check rooms first before I start moving stuff. Hello? One or more boxes may be in the wrong room. Why did I pick- why out of all the doors I picked the worst one? Like, what? I can't even go in that one, so we're just gonna- we're just gonna close that door and I'm just gonna- No, 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 no. Close the door. Oh. Did he get closer? I don't know. We don't know. Who knows? Let's open this door. <laughs> ah, see? This is a little more sensible. Hala hala. Oh. <laughs> That is not funny. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Oh, hello, little crucifix. Okay, so I found the baby's room. Very, uh, I guess it's, I guess, I don't know. I find it weird to put the bed right in the middle. I feel like it has to set in a corner, a catty corner, or, you know, in the middle of a wall somewhere. You know, real pretty nice. Like, let's put it in here. Bop. Go, got to keep moving boxes. hi ho Let's see what's in the other rooms first. I'm gonna go to this one. Ah, dining room. You know, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, is that the outside? That's outside. Okay, because I was about to say. Yeah. Oh, he's he's still there. Hi, buddy. Hello. Uh. Yep, you're creepy. Alright. I was gonna say, for some reason my brain thought that that was a room... And I was like, man, it's a huge room. It's the outside. I'm just kind of a little slow. <laughs> holla holla. Ooh, this wallpaper is atrocious. This is a very sad kitchen. <laughs> I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Yeah, at a, at a police station. Oh, can I pee? I can flush the toilet! Okay. Let's keep moving. I want I want to be nosy before I move boxes. What's with the crosses? All right, all right. So we got the just baby's room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom. This one says it might go to the kitchen. 
must go to the kitchen, not might. It knows where it's going. Entirely. We'll put these over here. Wish I could put it, like, in a nice stack. Not just, you know, kind of... Uh, this one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it. <gasps> open box. Ah! Is that blood on the knife? The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who can't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I, careless, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious, but I knew I couldn't take any chances. The 18th of February. The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 2. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove, another person who didn't belong in my world. So, he's a psychopath. Well, this one goes here. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll just leave this. <sighs> I don't like that. That's a very scary. Okay, this one says that it must go to the bathroom. We're just gonna go past that. We're just gonna keep... We're just gonna keep... Moving boxes, I guess. Just keep moving boxes. Found a knife. Yeah, it is what it is. That He's not... <laughs> kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. You know, I should have taken the knife out of that box and just, you know, pocketed it. Pocketed. Pocketed it. it. My brain's having an absolute problem saying that. Living room, living room, living room, living room. Living room. I'm scared he's just gonna be at one of the windows. Oh, it's a smudge on my... <laughs> I thought I saw something. There's just a smudge on my um, monitor. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, bathroom, bathroom. None for the dining room yet. Is he ju did he just shove all of his dining room chairs and his couches and stuff into boxes? This one doesn't say. Maybe I should open it. Uh, his glasses and a journal. The Snoop, part one. Oh no, I'm being a Snoop. <sighs> I was sure I had covered my tracks, but the, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person. Sensing that something was not right, she kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and couldn't be back anytime it wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. The Snoop Part two. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Wow. That's insane. I think I'll just leave this here. This one says it must go to the dining room. I, are we not going to talk about this? Are we just going to casually move on and be like, oh, maybe it's like a story that this person's writing or something, you know? You know, just casual stuff, you know, not scary at all. Bloody knife, obviously, you know, that's just everyday Joe Schmo stuff. Nothing suspicious here. <laughs> this one said, baby's room, another baby's room. Wait. His wife's dead. Did he keep the child? You know, I knew he looked creepy. I was right from the beginning. Creepy face. Obviously bad motives. I, sw I thought I saw something. I thought I saw something, but I didn't. It's fine. There's nothing there. We are okay. There's gonna be another box that says it wants me to open it. Kitchen. I wonder if I've accidentally put any boxes in the wrong room, because I could totally see myself doing that. All that work made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. Hmm. I bet he wouldn't mind if I take 
some of this juice. Was that me getting a drink? Time to go. <gasps> oh no. Okay, wait a minute. This one doesn't say where it should go. Maybe I should open it. Rings. The End of a Marriage, Part 1. I couldn't believe it was it when she threatened to leave me after all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it, it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. The death of a marriage. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at the ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's definitely a psychopath. And there's a new package. This one doesn't say. Ah, is that real fucking st it smells? The Vanishing Act, part one. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicion and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was to the victim. That I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister, it was too risky to move but I was confident that it would work. Is this, is this his face? I began by staging... <clears throat> my voice is cracking. I began by staging a break-in in our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some of her personal touches, to make it seem more convincing. Then I dis disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs, although I... Do not condone this behavior. It makes me feel powerful. You don't condone this behavior? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh, it's not outside anymore. Oh my gosh, it's gonna scare me. It's gonna get me. I don't, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this. I wish I had a flashlight. I wish I had a flashlight so I could just see into the abyss. Something's gonna scare me. It's gonna get me. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, it's dark. I didn't even. Oh, there's blood. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone battery doesn't die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear the phone. One second. Oh, boy. <gasps> I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hate, you. hate, 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 hate. hate. This wasn't this room didn't exist before. This room didn't exist before. Oh no 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 Ooh, I wish I could run, I wish I could run, I can't. I walk so slowly when I tell you I would be hauling ass. Oh boy. Uh. Hello? What do you want from me? Your job was just to move the damn boxes, not open them. Hi. I can't move. I can't move. Oh! <gasps> I've been shotted. Oh. Jesus. That was a really good game. I really like that. Thank you for making it. I like that. I was scared. Go check, go check this out on, uh, Itch.io. I always forget what Itch.io is called. But I really like that. Can I leave a review? Oh, I can. One second. We will leave a review. Five stars. Play, oh. Play on my small channel. Love. 
So it. I cannot type to save my life. Okay. Should I say what? Um, play to my spot down. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> it was super scary. Oh, uh, I can't type. It was super scary. There we go. I don't know. I'm awkward. I don't know what to say. What if I said it wrong? What if it's not right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Left a review. Go check it out. Um, I don't know. Go check out. See if they've made anything else. I'll have to look. I usually just go on itch.io and click the first few things I see. Um, instead of like looking for specific things or things like that. I do think I need to keep up with creators. Um, I will have to write them down though because I can't remember anything. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!